Uh, tonight, I was going to do a total hit piece on Morrissey. I know it's not usually our brand of music, but then I found out how many people he sued before. So um, Morrissey is one of the greatest musicians of all time. People, and, really. He's a fantastic person, boon to mankind, you know. <laughs> we, we couldn't get by without him. No one wants to be Peter Chris Lois, not even Peter Chris. All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Trend Kill Radio, a rock news show about all things rock, except for when it's not, brought to you by the Foundry Concert Club right here in Cleveland, Ohio. I am your host, Sean Ryan. And I am Jimothy. Uh, anyways, <laughs> before we get started, why don't you guys just hit subscribe, hit like, and then we'll get on with the story. Recently, uh, last night to be exact, The Simpsons played their 19th episode out of their season 32 catalog. Can you believe they've been on there for that fucking long? It's incredible. They haven't been all good years, but I mean, 32 years and running. <laughs> but anyways, they uh, they did an episode where uh, kind of distraught Lisa, kind of uh, upset with her her class and her classmates and stuff due to her veganism. Uh, she befriends an imaginary character called Quillaby from the band The Snuffs. Yes, from the 80s. So Quillaby, The Snuffs, Morrissey, The Smiths, get it? You know, get like what we're talking about here. All right. Voice by uh, Butternut Crinkle Fries. <laughs> oh, Benadryl Cumberbatch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like this is a, a total dig at morrissey even though the one of the writers tim long i believe he was just like oh no it's it's about you know the guy from the cure and the guy from new order and... yeah it's a combination of all those guys it's not targeting anyone in particular blatantly morrissey we we can see that right off the bat because everyone is horrid except me and possibly you and uh this character he's He's mopey, he's negative, he's a whiner. Ugh, that small woman was such a bore. Oh, Maggie's the baby. Just like some British musician that I Whiner name. Facial hair is not a substitute for personality. Morrissey, uh, he went onto his Facebook page, which I don't know why he didn't take to Twitter. It's not fun saying he took to Facebook. Right. Lame. Boring. How old are you? So this episode runs through where she is. She just sees imaginary Quillaby that you're looking at like in his prime, like he was, because you know he's been like a recluse for like 30 years, and then he plays this fest. She goes to the fest, and then you see Quillaby, and he's you know he's fat, he's overweight, his gut's sticking out of his stomach. He's completely denouncing veg veganism. <laughs> he's saying very very scathing racist things. <laughs> <laughs> he Just sure not, does. <laughs> not good for business. Making all these comments about foreigners, which is funny too, because someone in the crowd's like, aren't you a foreigner? Uh, so Morrissey, he takes to Facebook, which I think is sad. I think you should take to Twitter when you're going to complain about something. But a statement posted to Morrissey's official Facebook goes on to say, quote, when a show stoops so low to use harshly hateful tactics like showing the Morrissey... I'm done doing that. The Morrissey character with his belly hanging out of his shirt when he has never looked like that at any point in his career makes you wonder who the real hurtful racist group is here. End quote. What is racist about it? That's racist! Right. That's the question I immediately had when I saw that. I didn't even have to read the article. I saw like, just the fucking headline and I went, he's white! Right. <laughs> what race are you attacking? There's no racism in that. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, it's targeting a very specific group of musicians from an era <laughs> the fact that he equates that to racism just shows how like lost he must be in the scheme of things <laughs> he goes on to say even more quote even worse calling morrissey's character out for being racist without pointing out any specific instances offers nothing it only serves insult to the artist fun little facts about morrissey that i was digging up he is called the people of china quote subhuman end quote he is not a fan of anyone from the Middle East, especially if they bridge their uh, land over to England. Same thing with people of India. Uh, so anyone brown, no, he don't want them there at all. Uh, he is all for borders and everything like that. So he's, you can find it. It's, it's legally printed, quoted, 
on video in recording he does say some racist shit <laughs> man like this isn't a joke i'm not making this up further he goes on and says meanwhile quote morrissey has never made a cash grab he hasn't sued any people for their attacks blatant lie he sued enemy nme uh, i think that is a british british paper and a couple other ones he has definitely sued them i read one where he was just like i, I don't want to sue for any money i just want an apology but sued nonetheless I mean, people had to pay for lawyers, right. so that's a lie. Has never stopped performing great shows, also a lie. He canceled his 2014 tour for some BS reason. He canceled his 2016 tour for some BS reason. <laughs> like, and is still a serious vegan and strong supporter for animal rights, which that is true because he got the Staples Center to ban all animal products in the Staples Center. Something, a feat that Paul McCartney from the Beatles couldn't even do himself because he is also a vegetarian. I don't know, maybe he's vegan now. So like that that whole quote that I just read you guys, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's a lie. Man, that is flagrant false advertising. So anyways, the statement closed with something very like, you know, our former president might say, you know, saying it's not surprising. The Simpsons viewership ratings have gone down so badly over the years. The Simpsons are iconic. The Simpsons are an American institution. It's, it's just they've They've grandfathered themselves into culture so much that it's hard to kick them out. As an update today, we found out that the, the post was actually made by da -da 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 -dun, his manager, his manager, Peter Katsis. Uh, Bullshit. Said, right. He issued the post initial criticizing The Simpsons, quoted to say, quote, more shoddy journalism by Consequence of Sound and Pitchfork today. They attributed my quote on The Simpsons for writing to Morrissey while using false facts to try and support more meaningful stories, end quote. <sighs> <laughs> what do you say to that? What do you say uh, to that? Like, oh no, it wasn't Morrissey at the beginning. No, no it was a man. Yeah, it was, it was oh, clearly, it was me. It was me. <laughs> yeah, and then in an interview to Rolling Stone later on, Katzis, the manager for Morrissey, he said, uh, "We're not planning on suing, but we're weighing our options." This is the most blatant case of fraudulent advertising since my suit against the film *The Never-Ending Story*. Like in this just <laughs> vague, disguised claim. Like, you got nothing, man. It's satirical. It's a cartoon. I mean, Family Guy and South Park, they push the envelope of taking characters out of real life, not even, like, changing their names whatsoever, and doing a satirical bit on them. Right. Same thing with, like, fucking SNL, like, every week. There's satire in every week. That's just part of, like, media and culture. If you can't handle the fire, get the fuck out. If you want to be a star of acclaim, or if you are a star of acclaim, then you have to deal with that. I'm sorry that the height of your fame began in the 80s when this wasn't a thing, but, well, tough, tough shit. That's reality. This is, this is the world we live in now. You can ignore it, or you can bitch about it and get nothing accomplished because everyone has the right to free speech. And it's not even slander because they're not even calling you out by name. Uh, before we end, I would just like to say that if I ever get sued and I have to issue an apology, I don't mean it. I've said this before. So if I do get sued, I don't mean it. So whatever. <laughs> I'll do whatever the suits tell me to, but I don't mean it. <laughs> all right. That is all that we have for today's episode of Trent Kill Radio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Hit your notifications because we don't know when these shows come out. Before we go, I would like to say one more thing. Uh, so my fiance, she, she bought me a mask for Halloween or for my birthday and it happens to be a halloween mask right here very nice and an original 78 myers and Ooh. uh but it was from a buddy of mine darren at ghoulish creations down in akron and i consider that local i, I think yeah, anywhere absolutely. in the state i support ohio and you know akron if you're if you're watching out of state akron's 45 minutes away from cleveland i mean uh, they kind of they, they they still count as northeast ohio right that's that's our region. Kind of so. We we took credit for LeBron James. Yeah. He's from Akron. Oh, right. Yeah, why the fuck not? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But I mean, like the dude, he makes custom like Friday the 13th Jason masks. Like really, really good ones, like hand fucking airbrushes, all these things and design. He did a pinhead uh Jason mask recently, and he deals with Trick or Treat Studios that makes a lot of these masks and shit that you see around here right now. So I mean, support local. If you do live in Ohio, I mean his shipping was like two days he's nice. awesome and really nice guy and super supportive of us and we are super supportive of him and i'd like to say thank you once more to darren i'm not getting paid for this i'm not trust me this thing this was not fucking free 
<laughs> so like, <laughs> I'm not plugging. I just believe in uh, you know a, a good cause and uh, you know making friends with throughout the industry. If you're a horror nerd like I am, so uh, ghoulishcreations.net. You can go check him out there and see what he's got to offer. There's all kinds of toys and masks and costumes and all kinds of fun stuff. So check him out, ghoulishcreations.net. Net. And that is all that we have. I already said subscribe, like, hit your notifications. That's it, baby. I'm Sean Ryan. And I'm Jimothy. And this is Trend Kill Radio. <laughs>